Hi, I'm Dr. Fu, consultant nephrologist from Pantai Hospital, Kuala Lumpur. We are going to uh, discuss today the job of the kidneys and uh, what happens when the kidneys fail. The first question is, what causes kidney failure? The most common cause of chronic kidney failure is uncontrolled long-standing diabetes. Other common causes include high blood pressure, obstruction by kidney stones, repeated urine infections, certain painkillers and uh, traditional medicine, and also a kidney filter problem called the GN. Second question, okay, why does blood pressure matter? Uh, blood pressure matters because long-standing high blood pressure causes kidney damage. Next question, is it hereditary? Yes, a few cases of chronic kidney failure is hereditary, the most common being polycystic kidney disease. Next question, can my kidneys fail overnight? Yes, acute kidney failure can develop and uh, progress very rapidly in a few hours to days. And the most common causes are severe infection called septicemia and any cause of a low blood pressure. Next question, what is the most harmful food or drinks or lifestyle that will cause kidney failure? Well, any food, lifestyle or drinks that lead to diabetes or high blood pressure. And for patients already with pre-existing kidney disease, high salt and high protein diet is definitely harmful. Okay, next question, how to detect a kidney problem early? Unfortunately, most kidney problems are silent in the early stages. So the easiest way to detect kidney pro problems early is to do blood and urine tests regularly to detect any diabetes or reduce kidney function or protein leakage in the urine. The next question, what are the symptoms of kidney disease? As I've said before, early kidney disease is often silent um, the earliest symptom that may be noticeable will be nocturnal urination or a change in urine colour or frothy urine. Later symptoms will include leg swelling, back pain, poor appetite, difficulty breathing, tiredness and uh, other symptoms. Next question. Kidney failure means permanent and need kidney dialysis. Yes, definitely. End-stage kidney failure um, means it's permanent and the patient needs dialysis or a kidney transplant. Next question. If I go to the bathroom frequently, does that mean that my kidney is not functioning well? That may mean the kidney is not functioning well because as I said earlier, frequent urination is the earliest sign of reduced kidney function. But frequent urination can also be found in other conditions like diabetes, prostate problems, urine infections. Okay, next question. Are kidney failures mostly acute or chronic? Well, both acute and chronic kidney failure are equally common. Acute means the kidney failure developed recently and progressed rapidly. Chronic means a long-standing, permanent, irreversible kidney failure. Okay, how can I protect my kidneys? As I said earlier, early detection is uh, very important and this is especially for one condition called GN. It is a kidney filter problem that is uh, very common among young patients but is silent. So the best way to detect is to do regular urine and blood tests. Other measures to protect the kidney include healthy diet, good control of uh, diabetes and high blood pressure, which are very important. Avoid certain uh, painkillers and uh, traditional medicines that can damage the kidney and uh, prompt and appropriate treatment for urine infections. Okay, that's all for today. Um, hope you learned something about kidney failure and how to protect the kidneys. Thank you for watching.